Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this portable LED projector. Let's go ahead and see what all this comes with and then we're gonna demonstrate it a little bit later. Okay, let me just pull this out. Oh wow, this is really nice and small. This is smaller than I was expecting. So I'm just gonna take everything out and show you what all it comes with. Okay, so this is everything that this comes with. It has the remote right here. We have the user manual. This is the video audio cord. This is the HDMI cables. This is the power cord. And then this goes right down here at the bottom so that you can make it lower and higher just depending on what angle you need it for, which I think that's really nice that it comes with that. I really like that this comes with a lens cover that is attached with the screen just so you don't even have to worry about misplacing that. And then this is where you plug in the power cord. And then this is where you're going to plug in your other cables and headphones and things like that. The bottom has four non-slip grips, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about this falling off of a surface. And then the controls that it has on here are basically the same controls that it has in the remote. But if you do have this placed on somewhere that's kind of hard to reach or you are sitting on a chair and don't wanna get up, I like that it has the option of using the remote control. So since these are pretty much the same buttons, I'll just go over what is right here on the remote. So this is obviously the power switch. This is the input source. This is the menu. These are the directional buttons as well as enter. This is the return button. Here is volume up and down as well as mute. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on a projector area so that we can see what this looks like on a perfectly flat wall so we can get a good idea of what this projector can do. Okay, I have this all set up. Obviously you can set this up however you would like. I just have a makeshift little stand for it that is the right height for where I want it on the projector screen wall. So I just wanted to show you I have this on. I know you kind of saw this earlier, but right here is where you're going to adjust how blurry or how clear your picture is. And then right here, you're going to um, adjust the screen. I'm just gonna show you um, the screen that I have up here. So you can see that is making it blurry. And then I'm just going to adjust it just to make it clear right here. Okay, I feel like that's about right. Perfect. And then this notch right here, you can twist it to alter the direction of the video. So I'm just gonna show you right here. This is perfect for if you have the projector tilting up to get a larger picture up on the wall or something, you can definitely use this to just help get the right angle. So I'm gonna put it right about there. That seems to be about right. And I do wanna say this was super easy to set up. Um, I just plugged in the power cord right here and I do wanna note that this power cord is only about three feet long. So you can see I did need to use an extension cord, um, but if this is right next to the wall, three feet should be long enough, but I just wanna note that. And you can see this is running right now and it is not very loud, which is really nice. I just love how small this is and how quiet this is especially compared to older projectors that I just feel like they can get super loud. Okay, and the, and the last part of setting up for how I am going to use it, I know there are several different ways to use this, but I just plugged in the HDMI cable right here. And then since I do have a Mac, I went ahead and plugged it in an HDMI um, adapter and I plugged it into my Mac laptops. So now how I have it is the so now the projector is just mirroring everything that is on my laptop. You can see that is the same picture that is on the laptop right here. So that makes it nice and easy. So now I can just play anything that is on my laptop. I can use any streaming website that I can access on my laptop. In this situation, I know there are other ways to stream with this projector, but this is what works best for me. I'm just gonna pull up one of our videos on YouTube so we can test the sound quality. So I'll just push play here and I will show it up on the screen. Snackboards is that you don't have to have a run for a reason. You can just have some snacks out, make it look fun, and I just feel like the kids just really enjoy picking at it. Okay, nice. So that's full screen. That looks so nice.
Just gonna get a little bit closer so you can see the quality on this projector screen here. Obviously, if you have a flat wall, this would be perfect, or I'm sure any type of flat white screen would be great. But I'm honestly impressed with the quality. I am not complaining at all. This, this looks pretty great. Okay, I just finished this. I feel like it's gonna be really fun for the kids to just have their snacks open and available for when they're playing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause that there. I feel like overall the sound quality works good, the picture works good, the setup was easy, and it's a really small device to package up and store away if you aren't able to keep it out all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.